This is Yamcha. Many people will call him a hater. I would. But in this particular moment, he's operating within a space that a lot of people would describe as a hater. He's snooping around. He's in his ex's house, looking around a new dude, seeing what he's doing. Now, here's the thing. At least half of the people that are described as haters, if not most, and you can do your own tabulation, are incredibly justified in feeling the ways that they do. Now, let's look at Yamcha for half a second. Yamcha, long-term relationship with Boma. Just about, I don't know, probably less than five years prior, Yamcha and his friends were killed by Vegeta's companion. And if the companion didn't do it, Vegeta would have done it, right? Of course I don't like you. And now, you knocking off my ex, bro? Of course I don't like you. But there's a difference, I think, between opposition and haters. Now, opposition is just really dealing with why a person doesn't like you. I think Marvel does a great job of this. They have villains that are completely justified in feeling the upset ways that they they feel, and then they play out becoming super villains, and the hero has to deal with it. But through that, they learn and they grow and they figure out, oh well, maybe I shouldn't have just randomly blown up stuff in that town. <laughs> in life, we have two options. We can either look at the opposing point of view and see what we can learn from either what we did right or wrong sometimes they're being unreasonable sometimes they're being completely reasonable now i'm i consider myself a pretty fair-minded man i'm also a believer i follow the teachings of the bible and with that we have an expectation to make amends in moments where we're wrong but terms like hater get in the way of that they completely absolve you from responsibility of what you might have done to cause this person not to like you now even if somebody's being unreasonable sometimes you give them space there was a story in second samuel where david had a relative of saul that couldn't stand him his man wanted to kill the guy and a lot of people described him as a hater. Did David kill the guy? Absolutely not. David's response was, well, I guess I have this coming to a degree. And sometimes you have opposition coming your way and it's fair. You're either rude or you talk stupid or you did something really drawing. You might not even have meant it that way, but you did. And sometimes you can learn through that by just analyzing what did I do wrong to cause this person to be this way? And in other times, people are just being stupid. And for those times, you let it go. But for a person that finds themselves in a position that Yamcha did, my strong recommendation is to consider yourself. What went wrong? What did you do wrong? How did you play a part in creating the situation that you're currently in? And what can you do to not make the same mistake in the future? How can you grow from this? Because just following people around and sneaking in stuff or waiting for somebody to fall apart, that's not really living. That's some other thing. You don't want to live like that, do you?